No ma hi to my kita NBA TV. Ko Mike Otako Ingnoa. Ko Ke Otako Inga. Today is Rapa Te Rua Te Ko Marimo O Pipiti. Here yeah, are your notices, notices for today. today. Miss Strand, Deity Squash. There's one space available in Deity Squash. Books for Kindle ASAP. Mrs. Davidson, Basketball. If you are keen to play basketball and don't have a team, come see Mrs. Davidson in room 5, straight after the notices. And any player who is no longer playing basketball, Please return your signet to room 5 as soon as possible. Mr. Hollis, Badminton. If you are keen to play badminton for MBIS in an after school competition, please join the Google Classroom. The code is. And all necessary details are there for you and your parents to read. Entries need to be completed by Monday, the 29th of June. Artwork. Here is some amazing artwork shared by Rita in room 39. Thank you, Mr. Career and Senior, for organizing the Science Roadshow. We had so much fun. Here are some highlights. Five, four, three, two, one. Mark. Hi, I'm Commander Chris Hadfield, astronaut, spaceship commander, spacewalker, part-time musician. I'm here today to hopefully debunk some common space myths. So there's a lot of word out there that if you go incredibly fast, like the speed of light, if you could travel at the speed of light, that you won't age. And despite thousands of years going by, you'll stay the same, but everybody that you know will die. That's not really true. Einstein called it relativity because what he meant was your aging will be different relative to people's aging on Earth. You'll still age. Time will still pass for you, but people on Earth will age at a different rate. So that if you came back after going incredibly fast, you would have gotten older by the amount of time that it took for you to travel, but people on Earth would have aged much, much faster. They would have had a longer period of time because if you get going fast enough, your speed is sort of proportional to the time passing. So you'll still age, but you just age at a different rate than people back on Earth. Einstein did this cool thought experiment. Imagine if you were looking at a clock. The, the light from the clock is coming and hitting your eyeballs and telling you it's 12 o'clock. Well, imagine if you could move away from that clock 
at the speed of light, it would only say 12 o'clock because that light and you would be moving away from the clock at the same speed. So for you, it would look like it was always 12 o'clock forever. You'd still be getting older, but that clock would always look like it was the same time. The people on earth were continuing to live. They're not aware of you going the speed of light. So you can see that the time for you because of your speed is relatively different than the time for the people on earth. It's a really unusual thing to try and grasp in your head.